Breaking news from KHON2. Happening now. Breaking news indeed. Lava has reached the surface at Leilani Estates. Kilauea, as you can see, is erupting right now. This is video from earlier today when rocks fell into Pu'u'o'o crater. But this right here in this other monitor is what's happening now live. And you can see the lava spewing. And this is right where Leilani Estates is. You can see that home right there. We saw this, of course, four years ago when Pahoa Town was under the threat of lava. Our Sarah Madison is standing right by just on the other side of the home. We want to go to her right now for the very latest. Sarah. Marissa, that's right. We're at Leilani Estates. Now, what's going on right now, the lava erupting is actually on Mohala Street, and that's just, we are one street over. What you're seeing right now, you can see clouds of smoke and debris. That's rock, ash, and lava coming up from the surface right now. Now, there is a fire department's helicopter above us, so you can't really hear the sound that this lava is making. But I can tell you, it sounds like it's the ocean. It sounds like the ocean, the waves coming, it's like a, like a roar coming out of the ground. Now, there are homes in this area right now. Officials are trying to evacuate to everybody. We are here. We don't see any lava yet. But this is, uh, right now, at the moment, a safe distance for us. And joining me today, is Ikaika Marzo. Now, Ikaika Marzo, he is from Puna, and he has been tracking this activity since the beginning and posting it on social media. And tell me, Ikaika, uh, how did you first spot this? Um, so, <clears throat> we were doing our live feed of what's the, the events that is happening around in our neighborhood. We went right out here, there's a crack right here, so we did a live feed about this crack because this crack is kind of getting wider and wider. Then we went around because we knew there was a crack on that side. We came around, came down the road, all we heard was a boom. What is that? And then all of a sudden we smelled, we smelled the uh, sulfur, sulfur dioxide. We knew something was happening. Within minutes, we seen smoke, and now we see all this lava coming across the street, and um, it's, it's pumping right now. So this fissure is opening up, and this is, this is our next eruption. All right, and then can you tell me, there were homes in that area, and do you know uh, if the people evacuated already? We tried to get people out as fast as like, we could. There's a home, it, it, the fissure actually opened up in the back of somebody's house. Then it continued on onto the road and continued across the road. So um, we, we try to get everybody out as quick as possible. Um, unfortunately, they had to leave some of their belongings, and um, we got everybody out, fortunately. Everyone is safe. Yeah, everybody. Right. And then just looking at this, I know there's mixed feelings because, you know, on one hand, we're seeing Mother Nature at work, and the other, there are homes right there that's probably being destroyed right now as we talk. I mean, seeing this, what's running through your mind? What's running through my mind is actually what's happening here is, is, is history. It's history in the making. We all know that the Pele comes, comes uh, up and down this rift zone once in our lifetime or in our parents' lifetime, our grandparents. But as far as in this neighborhood, it's hard to believe it's here in this neighborhood. And I can't believe that it's right, right, in, right in the back of people's homes. And I, and I see that you have an ATV as well, and you said that you were going around also helping officials evacuate people. Tell me a little bit about that. So once it happened, we, um, three of us ended up going out, going to every street on the lower part of Nilani, try to go to every house, try to get everybody out as quick as possible and had to higher ground. Um, and unfortunately, it was just us doing the, doing the, doing the um, evacuation um, notices, but we got, fortunately, we got the majority of people out. Well, thank you very much for letting everyone know about this. Thank you, Kaika. Now, earlier today, we also talked to Nilani Estate residents just about what they've been going through for the past three days. Take a look at this view of Pu'u'o'o Crater. Earlier this morning, a plume of ash was seen miles away after the strongest earthquake this week, a magnitude 5, shook the lower part of the island, causing rock falls. Each event that's happening right now these days is something new, where we learn something new. Uh, and we just, you know, uh, I mean, it's kind of hard to do any kind of other work except for kind of surfing, you know, the Facebook and looking for latest updates on what's going on. I didn't go to work today, you know, I basically am home 
today because I feel like as long as I'm in my house, my house is safe. Littered throughout Leilani Estates, cracks on the road. One on Pohohiki Road was so big, crews had to close down a section of it to place a metal plate to make it safe for vehicles. Many residents have packed only the essentials and are ready to evacuate. If this opens up, I'll leave. But other than that, unless they force me to leave, yeah, I ain't planning to leave. Whatever happens, happens. That's it. Deal with it as it comes. Department's helicopter is here monitoring the area. As soon as they leave, I still want you guys to hear what this sounds like. The gas is just coming out from under the ground, and we have not seen lava yet. Um, and we don't know if it started from a crack on the road or not, but there are where we're standing right now, there are several cracks on the road, so it is a little unsafe to be here, and we're gonna move in just a little bit, but stay with us for the latest. Download our app so we can send you those push alerts. Well, Sarah, hopefully you can hear me. Obviously, the helicopter is overhead. Give us an idea. Uh, Leilani Estates is a very sparse area. How many homes would you say within just the direct vicinity that could be threatened? Hard to tell by visually looking. too far apart from each other. I would say there are about several thousand people in Lani Estates. Um, in this area, I would say on one street, there would be about 20 homes. There's also a lot of brush. And I don't know if that's going to cause any problems later down the road with uh, brush fires or whatnot, most likely so. And that's why they want everyone to leave at this time. All right, well, our thanks to Sarah Madison live there uh, next to an outbreak of lava. An eruption confirmed there in Leilani Estates. Of course, we've been monitoring this for several days. Scientists said they never know when or if it'll happen. Well, now we know the when, and now we know the if. And we'll get back to you a little bit later, Sarah, in this newscast. We will continue to check in with you live. And this just into our newsroom, we found out from the Red Cross that Pahoa Community Center was just opened seven minutes ago, just at the top of the hour, for anybody in that area who wants to evacuate, who is being forced to evacuate. Again, Pahoa Community Center on Kauhale Street. Uh, that's where you can go to get some uh, much needed supplies and, and a place, safe place to stay. Now, we did have a chance to speak with Big Island Civil Defense officials today on how they plan to get a word, their word out, and here's what they said. All right, well, we're going to stick with this shot again. This is one of the plumes that came out and broke out earlier today, and uh, the headline again is that there was a 5.0 magnitude quake at 1031 this morning. Hundreds of people reported feeling it. The quakes have also left, as we saw in that live report, cracks in the road on Pohoiki Road, crews covering it with metal plates. That road is back open tonight, but for how long? That's the question we're all going to have to wait to see. Now, we were told earlier that a charter school that was closed will reopen tomorrow. But again, these are all now subject to new interpretations now that this new outbreak has happened. We will continue to monitor it, not only during this newscast, but obviously throughout the entire night. And again, here's what civil defense had to say in regards to how they plan to get the word out to residents. We have several methods. And um, so we can push messages out through radio. Uh, we've got our mass messaging program is through Blackboard. People can sign up by going to White County's website and getting, the, getting to the civil defense section and signing up. Civil defense is also encouraging people to sign up for those NICS alerts. That's also how they get the word out to people. Now, earlier today, we did talk to scientists who said the conditions right now, and again, keep this in mind, this was a couple hours ago when they told us it was hauntingly similar to the eruption that happened in the same area more than 60 years ago. Well, now we know the eruption is happening. This is old film footage of the event obtained from the Lyman Museum and Hilo. Geologists say at that time, continuous small earthquakes along the South Puna area before lava reached the surface. Now, that was 1955. That eruption lasted nearly three months and destroyed roads and property in that area. The fissures opened up 
in about the same area where currently there is some concern because of the ground cracking and the shallow earthquakes. But certainly if it were to happen today in the same place, there are many more homes and, and structures in, in danger. Now to this day, it's still not clear why eruptions occur. There's no saying when or if they will happen. And that's important. We were told earlier, and we've been warning residents to be out on the alert, and now we know why. Again, there is a confirmed outbreak in Leilani Estates as Kilauea Volcano is erupting yet again. Of course, it's been erupting continuously, but not a surface outbreak since we saw four years ago when Pahoa Town was threatened. But we will keep our eyes on this. And some folks in the area are being told to evacuate again. If they need to, they, have, they should go to Pahoa Community Center. That's where the Red Cross is open to shelter. And stay tuned to KH12 on air and online as we continue to bring you the most information you need to know regarding this. And to stay alerted while you're on the go, just sign up for our push alerts through our KH12 mobile app. That's how we let you know about breaking news.